All right, guys, so we got a real crazy project that we want to do. But first of all, let me give you an intro, okay? How many of you guys are familiar with, with these brakes? Okay, these brakes are called the Odyssey System 2000. So I don't know if some of you guys know, but these are considered the aftermarket. If you guys look at the original one on this GT Performer, most of the GT Performer come with this on some of the other bike. But can you guys see the difference? Well, we got more holes. That's right. If you look at it, there's more holes in this. It has the quick release right here. That won't quick release for me. It's got the fancy adjuster. So this is the aftermarket one. This is the stock one. But nevertheless, all you guys remember these and they're very iconic. Come over here, guys. Come over here. Come over here. Step over, Matt. Step over. Excuse me, Mr. Sleeper. Excuse me. If you guys go and take a gander on this, I pull up. They have the RX3 brake lever, which is really hard to get. I wish I have a set. Anybody has a set? Let me know. But look at that. Look at the coolness on that. So we thought about, we're like, hey, you know what? Why don't Odyssey make these as, as a, a kind of like a tribute thing, as a throwback? And we hit up Odyssey and Odyssey's like, you know what, come on, food, we're really busy here. We got better things to do. So we're like, you know what, guys? What do you guys think about? Why don't we do it? So guys, what do you think? Yeah? Okay, so come over here. Check this out. So most bikes now, they come with U-brakes. All the freestyle went instead of these old school one where it uses a cable that comes here and when the cable pulls, it pulls it. These are all center pull better so why doesn't odyssey put these holes in and do all that so like i said i'm just going backward now i'm just talking about stuff that i talk about we're going to go ahead and do it because odyssey doesn't want to do it so we're going to get take these brakes which is the the evo 2.5 and what we're going to do is we're going to go and give this this effect this retro effect we're going to go and we're going to drill the holes in and we're going to chamfer it chamfer it meaning that little kind of that little bevel area and we're gonna do it to the lever to make it look like the RX3. We're gonna go and we're gonna drill the holes, then we're gonna lightly sand the surface of it because it's too smooth. Then we're gonna paint it, okay? We're either gonna paint it white. I'm thinking about giving it a little bit more old school color because I know it also came in uh, a blue, a red, yellow. I think yellow. You guys, confirm it with me. How many colors did these brakes come in? I could be wrong. You guys, correct me. But. Follow me, you guys. We're gonna go and we're gonna get this thing drilled. Going on a field trip. So if you guys can see, Mr. Uh, Jovenator here and some of his other work, look at these V-brakes, these box three that he did. We are doing the brick arm and the brick caliper on the U-brake. And as you already see, First is we need to space them proportionally with the component and then we center punch them and then we proceed drilling them and then countersink them. So to make it easier you need to take the arm off the assembly so that you can get access to where you're gonna drill easier and properly uh, clamp it down so that it will not move when you're drilling. And the same thing with these, we completely remove them so that you can space them, center punch them, and then proceed with uh, drilling. So did, did you eyeball this or did you add a measuring device? Piece of masking tape. Draw the line on there, put the spacing on there, and then pull the tape and tape it over to the center line of the part. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. Smart. He's the one that's always hanging out us at the shop. So he's a local us, he's a friend. I've actually known him for a really, really long time and he's always been doing like just custom stuff like that. Uh, if you ever seen the uh, the hutch that's inside the shop where the holes are all drilled out, like the, the Mongoose Pro class, it was a Jovenator that did that too. Hey Jovi, is this your bong? No, this is where the uh, <laughs> cigarette. <laughs> because of odd space and uh, uh, crevice on the caliper arm, you have to come up with some mean like this to properly clamp it so that it clamp tight. Also notice this is brass, right? It's because yeah. it's softer than aluminum. It just minimize the chance of scratching the, the component that you want to drill.
you guys are probably wondering why are we doing this before we paint because you got to think if we paint it, when we clamp it, it's going to get all scratched up. We're going to let the Jovenator go and do all this. We'll get it from there and we're going to show you the, the painting process and the, the end result. This is going to be pretty sick, guys. Okay, guys. Look at it. We got it back. See, it's all drilled out. And look, I'm wet sanding. I'm scuffing it up. Oh, and by the way, for some of you guys that think that, how come Alf's not doing it? Alf is hard to work with the editing. See? Don't lie about me. He's out there uh, ed that editing. crappy music. Okay. We just decided, I was decided to step it up, you know, and uh, give you guys a little bit more footage by having us do a little bit more while he does the editing instead of just having him do all the work. If you look at it, guys, the Jovenator, he went, did the drilling, did the drilling. All you guys see right now, see I'm just scuffing it up just so the paint would stick. And then after this, we're going to go send it to uh, the powder coat. And after it comes back with powder coat, we're just gonna go back through with that little bevel drill and just touch up, touch up, touch up so it gets that little silver and we'll get the final product. Everything's all been uh, lightly sanded down, washed. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in a little bit of acetone. That's a lot. That's, that's, that's a little bit. And basically what, what I'm doing, pretty much degreasing and uh, getting rid of all the moisture because acetone is good for doing that. And it, any kind of other impurity on it. And then uh, wait for it to kind of air dry. Look at that, guys. Look. The an owl in his native habitat. It's coming out, look. We're gonna get it out there for you guys. It's gonna be up before five, I hope, which you guys won't even know. It'll be like Tuesday. Yeah, yeah Tuesday it's gonna be there. done before. Yeah. You know, for the YouTube, the YouTube magic, it looks like I just did this like a couple of days ago, but actually what has been like a month max yeah about so it's been it's been over a month remember I, th from the very beginning i was talking about the old school odyssey breaks how's all drilled i said how cool would it be if we were to make the modern day evos into that well what took so long was actually the painting process so you guys remember you saw me wet sanding it and all that i think we try to paint it what five times so we at first we thought it was it, we thought it was the paint then we thought we didn't scuff it up enough so we stripped the paint scuffed up some more painted again and we thought it was the weather everything we could think of it did not turn out right so finally you know what guys I gave up I gave up uh, we went and we got the whole thing stripped then we have Jovi one Kenobi over there Okay, look at him. Look, like he's, I don't know what he's doing back there. But you remember, Jovi was the one where we had him drilled out all the holes for us because if we would have done it, it would have been completely crooked. And of course, we turned to him again to paint it because, guys, I'm not that good at painting. So, here it is, guys. The final product. I want to say, you know what? Yes, this was my idea. But I want to give credit all to Jovi over there. He was the one that drilled all these. He freehand these. Didn't use any special tool to, to, to measure it, freehand it, and chamfer this. I want you guys to get a real close look at the details on this. And the paint job on this thing. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's funny that I, I can't even spray paint. I don't know. And here is the uh, the brake lever. Only thing that I wish I was able to do was print a little Odyssey sticker right here, just like what they have here on the uh, Odyssey RX3 brake lever. So, guys, what do you think about this? I totally think Odyssey should get on this and do this. We're gonna go in, we're gonna start on a bike. We're not gonna put it on a finished bike because we're just gonna save this thing for another project. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna quickly install this on a bike wheel so you guys get an idea what it looked like. So we have right here a Hoffman Flash. If I could remember, this was the US one. The, this is actually a, a bike of mine that I really like. Uh, I'm planning to build it. Guys, if anybody out there that happened to have Atom Lab cassette, 36 hole shoot me a dm I'm, i've been looking for that for this bike because i want to build it up as my as my my cruiser bike um maybe maybe when we get all the parts we'll do a build up 
on it, but I need that hub, okay? So what I'm gonna do, if you guys look, the brake post, I went and I sanded the brake post down. Where, where's my sandpaper? Guys, sandpaper strip, and what I did was I just went in and, and then sanded down. We're gonna install the, the bottom part. Look how clean it goes on there. So you see how it's coiled like this? So when I tighten it, I pull it this way, this thing's gonna go out. See, that's real easy to figure out. But the black one is the one that goes on the right side. The left side right here is the gold one or is wound up counterclockwise. Now keep in mind guys, I am not going to 100% install this properly. Maybe when somebody hit me up with that hub, then I'll, I'll have everything complete because I'm putting these on with power bites. And these brakes are gonna go on it, so it's gonna be really, really sweet. You guys would not believe of all the projects I've done, this is probably one of the hardest one. And it's because the whole damn paint. If anybody got any tips or explain to me why the paint was chipping, my guess was that it was the white because I painted stuff before in other colors and it sticks better. Is it the white? Guys, educate me on this. There it is, the finished product. It's the Evo with a little bit of that System 2000 old school brakes. Here's the brake lever up here. Guys, comment in. How many of you guys want Odyssey to do this? Guys, tag Odyssey. Send Odyssey the video and go, hey, just saw this on Epic BMX. This thing looks so sick. You guys gotta do it, okay? Because I think they should as a retro thing. Um, I personally think it's beautiful. Did you guys think there was too many holes? You think there could have been a couple little ones? I think if I would have went over and done it, I would have gotten rid of one. If I would have spaced it out a little bit more, I would have chamfered it a little bit bigger and make it a little bit more silver. But this is the very first one we did. So it turned out really good. Let's hear your feedback, guys, because you know what? Some some of you guys are giving me some really good tips and I use it. Glad I got to finish it to get to show you guys kind of some of the stuff that is in my brain. Shout out to Jovi right there. Jovi, Jovi, Jovi one Kenobi. He's the one that, that drilled this and painted this. Without him, we couldn't, we couldn't do it. Guys, share this video. Remember, send this video to Odyssey. Some of you guys freeloader out there that don't want to subscribe, subscribe. Okay, it doesn't cost you guys anything. All right, guys, till next time. Thanks.